students, in today's lesson, we will discuss about the role of hormones in female and male reproductive system. The learning competency is explain the role of hormones involved in the female and male reproductive system. We have four specific objectives. For number one, identify the hormones and the parts and functions of male and female reproductive systems. Number two, identify the hormones involved in female and male reproductive systems. For number three, discuss the role of hormones involved in female and male reproductive systems. And for number four, you are going to compose an essay about the role of hormones in reproductive health. Now, what is the major function of the reproductive system? The major function of the reproductive system is to ensure the survival of the species. Within the context of producing offspring, the reproductive system has four functions. To produce egg and sperm cells, to transport and sustain these cells, to nurture the developing offspring, and to produce hormones. In the first activity, you will identify the parts of the male and the female reproductive system given this diagram. But it is not actually difficult on your part because you are provided with a list of answers written in the box. So what you are going to do is to choose among those words listed in the box. So are you ready? I'll give you 5 minutes to answer. Okay, so let's reveal the answers. For male reproductive system, for number 1, we have the urinary bladder or the bladder. For number 2, the prostate gland, then the penis, the urethra, vas deferens, the testes, and the scrotum. Then for the female reproductive system, from the topmost, we have the fallopian tube, the fimbria, or the hand-like structure, the ovum, the uterine lining, vagina, the ovary, the uterus, and the cervix. Did you get it right? Okay, very good. In the next activity, you will learn the function of its part we identified in the first activity. So this is a matching type question or a matching type activity. Match the parts of male and female reproductive systems in column A with their functions in column B. You will write the letter before the number. So again, I'll give you 5 minutes or say 10 minutes So because you are going to read the, the functions. So please start. Okay, let's reveal the answers. For number 1, the test is it produces sperm cells. That is letter E. Next is the scrotum. It is a sack of skin that holds the testes and helps to protect the testicles or the testes. That is K. Next is the penis. It deposits sperms into the vagina during mating. Letter A. Then for number four, the vas deferens. The vas deferens carries sperm from test test to urethra. Letter C. Then the vagina. It receives the penis during mating. Letter J. The seminal vesicles secretes a fluid that makes up most of the components of the semen. It is letter B. For number 7, the prostate gland, it secretes a slightly alkaline milky fluid that is discharged as part of the semen. Letter D. Then the ovary. The ovary produces egg cells. F. Then the uterus. The uterus serves as site of egg implantation. It is where the fertilized egg develops. Up to 9 months. That is letter G. Then for number 10, the cervix. 
it allows menstrual blood to flow out from the vagina during menstruation. And the last but not the least, the fallopian tube serves as the passageway of eggs from the ovary to the uterus and it is where the fertilization of eggs happens. Eight. Now, what is the role of hormones in the reproductive system? So, we'll move now to the next topic, the role of hormones in the reproductive system. But before that, before we discuss the role of hormones, we first define what is Hormone or what are hormones? Hormones are chemical messengers that are secreted by the different endocrine glands. These hormones are fed into the bloodstream which carries them to organs and tissues of the body to exert their functions. Hormones play an important role in both female and male reproductive systems. The pituitary gland controls the functions of both the testicles or the testes and the ovaries. The reproductive system is controlled by the gonadotrophins. The gonadotrophins are the follicle-stimulating hormones or the FSH and the luteinizing hormones or LH. These two hormones are produced by the pituitary gland. When the gonads or the ovaries and testicles receive this LH and FSH, these gonads will in turn produce hormones. And what are these hormones? The ovaries will secrete estrogen and progesterone for the testicles or the testes will produce testosterone and androgen. We call these hormones as the sex hormones. These sex hormones influence the physical appearance or the female characteristics or the male characteristics. The table shows the different hormones involved in influencing the male and the female reproductive systems. The pituitary gland, as we have said a while ago, produces FSH and LH. It also produces growth hormones. So it is the pituitary gland is responsible for the stimulation of our growth. The testes or the testicles secretes androgen and testosterone, which controls the maturation and male characteristics. The ovaries produce estrogen and progesterone responsible for the female traits and support reproductive function. So to check your learning in this topic, please answer these three questions. For number one, which hormones are responsible for secondary male characteristics like lowering or the deepening of the voice and growing of facial hair? For number two, which hormones are responsible for secondary female characteristics like enlargement of the breast and broadening of hips? And for number three, which gland is responsible for male and female sex development? So I hope you will get the correct answers. So let's answer these questions. For number one, androgen and testosterone. Number two, estrogen and progesterone. Then for number three, testes and ovaries. Did you get it right? We discuss now the physical effects of thin hormones. Again, what are these thin hormones? They are androgen and testosterone for boys and for girls estrogen and progesterone without the teenage hormones or the thin hormones normal physical and sexual development wouldn't be possible at the beginning of puberty your brain releases a hormone called gonadotrophin releasing hormone or GnRH the GnRH triggers the pituitary gland to secrete the FSH 
or the follicle-stimulating hormones, and luteinizing hormones or LHs. This FSH and LHs will fed into your bloodstream. These thin hormones have different effects on males and females. In girls, FSHs and LHs instruct the ovaries to begin producing estrogen, one of the primary female sex hormones, and to produce eggs or the maturation of eggs. For boys, the same hormones will tell the testes to begin producing testosterone, the male sex hormone, and the production of sperm cells. At the same time, you will notice some significant changes in your body. You will grow taller and put on weight and muscle mass. For the girls, you will begin to have menstrual period and will develop fuller breasts and wider hips. Then for boys, larger sex organs will be developed and will be able to ejaculate. For both the girls and boys, you will develop body hair on the legs, under the arms, and over the sex organs. Then you will produce stronger body odors and may develop acne or other skin problems. Now what will happen if the pituitary gland did not function properly during the puberty stage? Aside from the effects that we mentioned, what do you think are the other effects of these hormones in both female and male bodies during the puberty stage. During puberty, the pituitary gland produces hormones that signals the other glands to work. Now, what do you think are the effects of consumption of alcohol and cigarettes during the puberty stage? Thin hormones naturally increase teenagers' interest in peers they are attracted to and often lead to dating. Why teenagers should be extra careful, especially in sexual contact? Then for evaluation, recent reports of National Population Commission cited that there is an alarming increase rate of teenage pregnancy in the country. At 6%, the Philippines has the second highest teen pregnancy in Southeast Asia based on Save the Children's Global Childhood Report in 2019. At the same time, the Department of Health shared an alarming report about the increased rate of sexually transmitted diseases, we call this the studies among teenagers. With your knowledge in role of hormones in reproductive health, compose an argumentative essay reflecting on these questions. What do you think there is an increase in teenage pregnancy and teenage studies in the Philippines? As a teenager, how can you avoid engaging in unhealthy sexual intercourse? So I hope you will answer this all correct. Okay, so we've done with the first activity. So I hope you learn in this first learning activity sheets. So goodbye. We'll see for the next activity or learning activity okay so thank you